Here, you can see the obvious problem with this laptop it has a cracked display. First thing we're going to do is get some jewelry screwdrivers, some scotch tape, and our new display. I like to keep it protected until we're ready to use it. Down here in these corners, you'll see a type of little sticker cover. Just kind of pop that out of there. Save that for later if you want to put it back on. You don't have to, but you can. Makes it pretty. We'll go ahead and turn the power off. Flip it over. Remove the battery. Open it back up. We're going to take these two screws out. I like to use a little Phillips jewelers. If they're tight, sometimes you just press on a little harder. Or sometimes what might help is if you tap it. Loosen the screw up. These are coming out pretty simply. Next we're going to go and pop this apart. Probably do this with your fingernails. I thought I would need a straight edge jewelers, but it looks like it comes apart pretty easily. Just pop this bezel off. careful. It's kind of like taking a kid's toy apart. Feels like it's going to crack open. Reach in this top lip, pop it open even further. Should be able to take this whole thing off. Comes right out of these little hinge spots. Careful not to break these off. We'll set that aside. Next, we got four screws. I see one, two, three, four. And take those four screws out, put them with our other ones. They're silver. The first two we took off were black, so they won't be mixed up, even though they are the same size. Okay, we got those off. And we're going to very gently pull this away from here. Be careful, don't pull it too far because your webcam cable is connected back here by some adhesive. Pull this up here. You're going to want to use two hands and gently, very gently, take that off. That came off pretty simple. I know sometimes it's taped all the way down. That one came off pretty simple. Take that off very gently. Take this off down here. It's kind of stuck on there with a type of two-sided tape. Next we're going to take off the connector. It's got a piece of tape with a part number covering it up for protection. For this I'm using a straight edge jewelers and my fingernails. You can use 
whatever you think is good. Take your time, take it off very gently. Oh, that RK, that sticker doesn't come off. There's a little piece of tape here on the front that needs to come loose, like a silver piece. Okay, there we go. Now we can pull it away a little. Like I said, be careful because this is the cable for the webcam. yellow piece of tape here covering your connector for your display. And then yes, the, the one piece up here that had a label on it, after you take the yellow one off, that will come off very carefully. That aside, you can use it again. You'll see that just slides out of there very gently. There we go. And you got your connector. So now we're going to get the new display. I always like to check part numbers and make sure you got the same thing. Uh, but this looks like it's just a suitable substitute, so I'll trust that uh, LaptopScreen.com gave me the right part for this laptop, which was packaged nicely and shipped out fast. Very carefully. You don't want to mess up this connector. Put it in there nice and even. Just kind of working it in there on both sides. Very careful how you're holding the display, or it'll end up like the old one. It looks like it's in there nice and good. Now I'm going to take this little yellow, or uh, let's take our sticker from before. It was on the old one. Lay that down across it. Holds it together. Obviously that sticker no longer identifies the original display, but we're using it anyway. Okay. There you have it. I'm going to go ahead and take these pieces of masking tape off that are holding the front uh, protection on the front of the display because I'm getting ready to put it back up. Stick this back on here. Still probably a little sticky, so you're good to go. And then I got some scotch tape to help us out with sticking this cable back on the back of the display. You can't see, but I'm looking down in the back and taping the cable up onto the back of the display. Once that's been on and warm, it'll, I'm sure it'll appear very good. Okay, got it in 
place. We'll take our silver screws. Don't put them all in. Just put them all in a little. Don't put them all the way in. Just put them in loosely. We don't want to warp our new screen. We got some sound effects in the background. Just a minute there. We'll tighten these up, corner to corner. I don't have to be real seriously tight. It's not going to fly or anything. And we will go ahead and put our bezel back on. Securing the bottom first. It's going to come on, go on the same way it came off. Just kind of snaps together. Again, like you're, you know, when you're fixing your child's toy. Very careful with the display. You don't want to crack it like the old one was internally cracked. LCD. Uh, first part of that is liquid. You'll have liquid leaking inside your display if you crack it internally. Okay, I think we're good all the way around. So now we will put our black screws back in. Depending on what tool you're using, I have to hold it on the end of the screwdriver while I put it down in there. Got a magnetic screwdriver might help you a little better. We'll put our stickers back on. Like I said, if you don't want to put those back on, that's up to you. It's purely cosmetic. And eventually they'll probably just fall out anyway. Okay, looks good. Take this stuff out of our way. Close it down. Turn it over. Put your battery back in. Flip it over. Power it up. And there we have it. Our uh, new display. Give me the message because we shut it down by pushing the power for so many seconds. So I'm just going to say start up normally. And we'll wait till we get some picture air, but uh, looks like uh, our new display is nice. Well, we uh, replace the display on an Aspire 1. This happens to be a uh, Aspire 1 D257 model.